Thanks, Chris. Yesterday, CHI confirmed the IT issues they've been experiencing for at least nine days was the, was the result of a ransomware attack. And we now we know you may have many questions about that. Three News Now reporter Lisa Curtis joins us live in the studio with what the health system has told us so far. We're working to get you more information as we know thousands of you are CHI patients. I got into contact with a CHI representative today and here are a few questions I asked. First, what is the timeline in which CHI and Common Spirit believed it to be a ransomware attack or new and thus took down the systems? Was data compromised? They said relevant updates are being provided to patients. What are those updates? And what if you don't have an appointment or prescription that needs to be filled, but have data in their system? What should you do or know? What is the nature of the attack? And is there a ransomware demand? In response, CHI has referred me to the statement that they released yesterday. According to the statement, they took immediate steps to protect the systems upon discovering the ransomware attack. They say they are following existing protocols for system outages, such as taking systems offline. The statement says patients continue to receive the highest quality of care and are providing relevant updates. A thorough investigation is being conducted. They also told me today patients who have appointments scheduled are being contacted on a case by case basis. Patients who need assistance with prescriptions should call their CHI pharmacy location. The head of engineering for a cybersecurity company we spoke to believes CHI and Common Spirit are being tight lipped about the situation because they've likely been told to by their insurance company. So when an incident happens like that, you have a cybersecurity policy in place, the cyber insurance organization in almost all cases has contractual obligations um, that the policyholder has to follow in order to be able to collect on that policy. And that requires um, you know, very, very closely guarded secrets around disclosure of what's going on. Investigation into the incident is underway. Reporting in the studio, Alyssa Curtis, 3 News Now. All right, thank you for that, Alyssa. As the investigation continues, we wanted to learn more about cyber attacks and what you might be able to do to protect yourself. 3 News Now reporter Aaron Hegarty has more. The threat actors are going to go after the crown jewels, which is almost always the electronic health record systems at healthcare organizations. Once they have control of it, that's when they're able to really demand ransom. Hollenbeck says these outages can often last a couple weeks. In this case, he says things like the amount of time that has passed since the outage started at least 10 days ago indicate something. It's very likely, um, yeah, that this is, this is going to turn out to be a major cybersecurity incident. The ransomware attack at CHI is shining a light on some of our most private records. So when you have to turn data over to a company, what can you do to keep yourself safe? And that's a very tough one. Um, you depend on that business to take care of that. If that data has been breached, the only thing you could really do as a, a consumer with that business is watch out for your bank transactions. It's up to the company to keep data you give safe, including things like security question answers on top of bank account and credit card numbers. In a general sense, I would recommend everyone roll their passwords. Um, everybody change their recovery questions um, just to be safe. The name of the game will always be money. So um, keep an eye on those credit cards. Make sure nothing's been opened in your name. As for companies, this isn't spe specific to healthcare, but most organizations um, do not have, uh, you know, or have not fully embraced a culture of cybersecurity, which is what is required in order to be able to have the best chance of surviving these. Aaron Hagerty, 3 News Now. Earlier this month, a Baltimore-based health system, LifeBridge, agreed to a settlement of $9.5 million after detecting malware 18 months after it was introduced. The impact, well, it impacted about a half million people. Common Spirit says it serves 20 million people nationwide and includes CHI locations here locally, though we still don't know if those responsible for the ransomware attack were successful.